What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing some things that I enjoy, right? You guys know, if you've been around the channel, man, you know that I love sports, I love analytics, I love rankings, I love worst, I love best lists, I love to hear people's opinions on things as far as, like, if it's sports, figures, wrestling. I want to, I like to hear different opinions. I like to see different perspectives on things. And for me and my channel, you guys know that I love the worst countdowns. I love to dive into things that could have been better. I like to dive into things that, that the companies that make our figures have nailed and how amazing they are. That's one reason why I love the reviews on the channel, the WWE, AEW. Doesn't really matter. Ultimate Edition, Elite, Unrivaled, Unmatched, Defining Moments, Ultimates. Probably said that again. But today, man, we're going to dive into a few times that WWE and Mattel, I guess you could say cross the line, Brad. I guess I could name the video that. I was going to go with drop the ball, but I think cross the line fits the theme better if you get what I'm saying. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to dive into my list of, I was going to do five times, but I kept thinking of figures. So whatever the, whatever the hell the list ends, man, let's just dive into it. Here are a bunch of figures that Mattel created, Elite specifically or Ultimates. I put a slash mark, you know, I put a slash mark. These are times when WWE and Mattel cross the line when it comes to producing WWE elites and ultimate action figures. Now this isn't just going to be times that, you know, the worst of the worst figures or something. I've done that before. I've done worst countdowns. I've done best. We've done rankings. You guys know I love doing those videos. So we're going to do that here today, man. Let's dive into times that Mattel crossed the line. Starting out with my list, man. I uh, These are actually the, the, the inspiration behind this video because I was sitting there thinking of some different fix-ups I wanted to do and I looked up on the shelf and saw these figures and said, damn, bro. Mattel really crossed the line making those. Or I said drop the ball, but you guys know that I, I switched the title. I'm going with the Elite 81 Street Profits, man. These had so much potential. I was super hyped for them. You guys know that I wanted to use them in the pick fed, and now I don't know that's if that's a reality. I really wanted to bring them in. I had some ideas brewing for myself, possibly a new faction. Like, it was going to be crazy, and then we got the figures. I reviewed them, and I was like, Ugh. I don't know, man. Not very good, man. Not very good at all. I'll tell you what, Bradley. The Montez Ford figure is is way better than Angelo, and I love Montez Ford. I freaking love him. I think he's fantastic, but they didn't give him any lower leg articulation, and he just reminds me a lot of the Elite 65 Ronda Rousey. I love it from the waist up, and I love the gear and everything, and he also has the John Cena shoes, and not having any real, like, lower leg stability. He just feels, like, really stiff in the legs, and it really ruined the figure for me. Also, I had to give him the fade haircut a little bit. The haircut was really weird looking. It didn't print right or something, and they made it that way. It wasn't like it was just mine. It was it was made that way. But also, the Angelo Dawkins is huge, bro. He's massive. And he's not that big in real life. Why is he so big? I don't know why they went with this torso. I don't know. that They're definitely not going to change it now. Like, he's massive, bro. He's gigantic. He is literal massive. He's like Braun Strowman. And I don't know why that is. He's definitely not that big in the chesticles. The legs are super weird. My knees wouldn't bend right. It just, it didn't work out, man. It, it had so much potential and it didn't work out and I had to put them on the list. Next up, we've talked about this figure at nauseum, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch figure, a lot of people rated as the worst of all time. Her, Shinsuke, and Edge are the top three voted amongst my Instagram, amongst the YouTube community out there. You guys have voted this as the three worst Ultimate Editions. And Becky Lynch just crossed the damn line, man. At the end of the day, if the figure looks nothing like the person, it's really hard to engage it. Yes, we can head swap. Yeah, that's great. But you have to look at it in an alternate reality kind of where, you know, if a kid is buying this figure off the shelf and they don't know about fix-ups and head swaps, they probably do with the internet and social media and all those different things, but you have to look at it at the scope of kind of like a video game back in the day, man. Back in the day, you know, Madden dropped. There wasn't live updates, bro. Whatever you got on the launch day is what you got, and that's it until the next year. And that's why I think video games have declined, but we could get into that in a whole other story, but the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch is god-awful in the face. Great figure neck down, but they dropped the ball on the head sculpt, and they fumbled it, Bradley. It's, it's, it's enough is said. They also fumbled it on, on Edge as well, but that's, uh, you know, we've, we've dug on Edge enough. That figure sucks. Next up, guys, one that actually I didn't really think about, but Elite 77 Viscera. A lot of people hate this figure. I've gotten a ton of comments telling me how much you hate this figure. Also down in the comment section below, please let me know the figures that you absolutely hate and you think cross the line, but Viscera is absolutely on there, man. Cannot move the legs whatsoever. The big plastic coat thingy, let me grab his ass. 
Look at him. You can't really do anything with this man. This is very thick coat. You can't really, it, it won't move. He can't even bend over. He's basically a glorified basic figure, and he looks great, man. He looks great, but the, uh, I think they could have rethought this, done something else with it, uh, to make it where we can articulate the legs, we can articulate the ab crunch, because the King Mabel is really damn good, and it feels great in the hand. This, this guy right here, not so much, Brad. Uh, yeah, just, it doesn't move, and it really upsets me. A lot of people have told me they hate this figure, and I completely understand why, man. It can't move, it can't ab crunch, it's a glorified basic, and you know how we feel about basics, Brad. Next up, guys, I'm going with Elite 72 Velveteen Dream. Now, you guys know the story with Velveteen Dream, right? His, like, it, it, going back to the beginning, his first figure, the chest is way too big, right? The torso was god-awful. They dropped the ball there, too, but I'm specifically talking about Elite 72 here today because it was an attire we had never seen before. It was completely out of left field. We had no idea we were going to be getting this gear. Like, we thought it'd be, you know, the Prince Puma gear, or we thought it would be the NWO or the Hollywood Hogan gear, or we thought it'd be something ridiculous, and then they dropped this atrocity on us, and we were like, what in the hell is that right there? Not only did they reuse the same head sculpt from his first Elite, they also used the same size chesticle with this thing sculpted over it. It's an ugly attire. I think he wore it one time on NXT television. It was a god-awful gear, man. It's god It's a god-awful looking figure. I don't like it. And Velveteen Dream, it just, it was a failure, man. It, it, we dro They dropped the ball on it. Dropped the football on it. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into two big men. I know the, the bigger men are kind of hard to articulate, but it's weird because they either are really, really good and feel great in the hand and can pose around, or they're the, a complete opposite and they're garbage and I just want to throw them against the wall. Elite 83 Dusty or any Dusty figure and then any Mark Henry. God in heaven. I've went on about the Mark Henry. Don't want to spend too much time on it, but Dusty Rhodes is in the same boat. His waists are super duper loose. His head sculpts are always a little bit off to me. I don't feel like they've really captured Dusty that great. I think the Elite 83 was pretty solid. There's probably maybe another one, but I want to say he had like one ridiculously awful head sculpt. It's not coming to my brain, but the legs are god awful. Like as soon as you push it forward, it, it doesn't even stay like that, man. It goes right back and it ha barely has any articulation whatsoever. Mark Henry's the same way. He had super loose ankles. You couldn't even move him around. Legs feel like they're going to snap every time you move them. So Mark Henry and Dusty Rhodes, they were right there with each other, man. I had to put both of them on the list because they crossed the line. Coming into our final two that I want to mention, man. Also, we have an honorable mention, but Elite 88 Trish. This figure is just a... Oh, my goodness. We literally reviewed it, reviewed it the other day. Looks nothing like Trish Stratus, man. It, it completely missed the mark, and this is one of those times where they fumbled the bag, man. It was complete fumble. Figure looks nothing like Trish. The Elite 88 Trish is probably going to be the worst figure of the year. We'll see at the end of the year. You guys know I love the worst figures of the year countdown. I can't wait for it. It's something I look forward to. I look forward to the best figures of the year video, too. I look forward to both of those. They're very fun for me. But uh, Elite 88 Trish, man, just super plain Jane looking. They're using the same freaking boots that we've seen forever. And the head sculpt looks nothing like Trish. It's just a completely missed mark, and you hate to see it. Next up on my list, man, I'm going honorable mention here. Elite 50 Rhino. You guys already know the memes and the and the gifts. There's never been a gif made out of that figure. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Rhino freaking cinder block boulder ball shoulders, Brad. Ugly looking figure. Horrible. God awfulness. Terrible. Not good. Worthless. Insufferable. Atrocious. Godness, I guess. Not a good figure, man. Looks just loose legs. Very weird proportions. He looked insane. That's enough about that. And last but not least, Brad, we're going with the worst ringside exclusive of all time. You probably already knew it when you clicked on the video. Shield Kurt Angle. Shield Kurt Angle, Brad. Shield Kurt Angle. This figure literally, I bet you could probably still grab it on the website because nobody wanted this. Who asked for this? Kurt Angle and Shield Gear. Awful looking head sculpt. A one-off match that I completely hated. I hated the match. I hated that, you know, one of my first favorite wrestlers ever was Kurt Angle. So when I heard that he was returning to a WWE ring in this matchup, I was like, dude, bro, he's gonna be in a sick-ass singlet. It's gonna be great. It's gonna look great. He comes out in that Shield Gear, Brad. God awful. Didn't like it. And I think that probably reinforces why I don't like the figure so much, but there was no reason to get this in figure form. No reason whatsoever. We could have not made this, and it just, it's probably one of the worst Mattel elites they've ever made, at least in my opinion, but it's definitely the worst ringside exclusive. I think a lot of people will probably tell you that. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below, but I absolutely had to get on here, and uh, he was one of the first ones that came to my mind, man. The shield Kurt Angle cross the line probably further than any figure on this list, and I'm probably sure there's probably, we could probably make this an eight-part series diving into figures and how they screwed them up and how this proportion looks god-awful and how they did this over here, and I tried not to nail it down to like just one bad part choice. 
choice, but just like an abundance of different things that went into the figure or where they dropped the ball on a figure that could have been great and that we were really excited about, and then they dropped the ball. That's kind of what I was going for. Figures that we were super hyped for, and then it was just like, why did this happen? So... That pretty much wraps up my list, man. I want to know down below what you guys think. As you guys can see, Elite Champion in the ring over here. Main event time going on over there, so you guys can wait for that. It's coming, Brad. Let's get it. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line like every figure on this list in today's video.